Hello children today we are going to learn internal organs of our body our body is a very complex living machine there are two parts in our body that works together they are internal and external organs in this chapter we will learn in detail about the internal organs of our body we cannot see the internal organs of our body heart lungs bones liver stomach and kidneys are our internal organs bones there are 206 bones in a fully grown human being all the bones of our body are together called as skeleton The skeleton is hard and strong. It gives the body a firm shape, supports it, and protects the delicate organs in our body. For example, the heart skull protects the soft and delicate brain inside it. The bones meet each other and these meeting points are called joints. These joints help our body to bend at different places and help us to do many things muscles there are more than 600 muscles in the human body muscles help the bones to move muscles are like elastic thread that join bones with one another contraction and relaxation of muscles make the bones move As a result we are able to walk run dance and play The movement of some muscles can be controlled by us but some others are not in our control For example our heart muscles keep on moving all the time and help our heart to beat we cannot control their movement brain All our body activities including heartbeat, breathing, movements, etc are controlled by the brain. The brain is protected by the hard skull. The brain receives messages from different parts of the body with the help of bundle of thin thread like nerves. The brain quickly understands a message and sends out signals. through nerves to different parts of the body to react accordingly for example when you see a car coming towards you the nerves from your eyes takes the message to the brain at a great speed your brain quickly realizes the danger and instantly sends messages to your leg muscles to get away a rich supply of blood and oxygen is very essential for the brain If oxygen supply is stopped for a few minutes it can cause damage to the brain heart our heart is a reddish brown organ it is protected inside our rib cage it is actually a muscle that pumps blood to different parts of our body through a network of tubes called blood vessels The heart collects impure blood from different parts of the body and pumps it to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gives off the waste material like carbon dioxide and collects oxygen. This pure blood again comes back to the heart and is pumped to the different parts of the body. The heart beats faster when our body works more because When our body works more it needs more oxygen lungs there lies two spongy bags filled with air on either side of the heart these are the lungs which help in the exchange of gases in the body we breathe in air through our nose the nose is connected to the windpipe and The windpipe is connected to the lungs. The lungs absorb oxygen from the air and send it to different parts of our body 
with the help of the blood the various parts of the body use the oxygen for their various functions and gives out carbon dioxide this process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is called respiration liver below the rib cage on the right side of the abdomen lies a dark red organ called the liver it is the largest internal organ of our body the liver is called the factory of our body as it plays a very important role in most of the activities to keep the body healthy the liver helps in the digestion of food it make bile which helps in digestion it helps to keep our body temperature constant at 37 degree celsius kidneys two bean shaped organs called kidneys are located behind the stomach the impurities in our body are brought by the blood to the kidneys the kidneys filter out these impurities and they are given out in the form of urine stomach in the upper part of the abdomen is a j shaped organ called the stomach when we swallow food it reaches the stomach through a long food pipe when the food enters into the stomach it expands here the food is churned with the help of the stomach juices and then passed on to the small intestine small intestine the small intestine is a 7 meter long called tube here the food is digested with the help of bile from the liver the digested food is absorbed by the blood through blood it reaches different parts of the body it gives us energy to work and play large intestine the undigested food goes to the large intestine air water from the undigested food is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine then the semi solid undigested food called feces is passed out of the body through the anus summary our body is a complex machine we must take care of each part of our body a supply of blood and fresh oxygen is very essential for the brain our heart is a muscle which works 24 hours a day liver is the largest internal organ of our body in the upper part of the abdomen is a j-shaped organ called the stomach when we swallow food it reaches the stomach through a long food pipe two bean shaped organs called kidneys are located behind the stomach the impurities in our body are brought by the blood to the kidneys all our body activities including heartbeat breathing movements etc are controlled by the brain the lungs absorb oxygen from the air and send it to different parts of our body with the help of blood the small intestine is a 7 meter long called tube here the food is digested with the help of bile from the liver the undigested food goes to the top of the large intestine here water from the undigested food is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine thank you children hope you have enjoyed